Oh my god. I'm a genius. I can't do that on my skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> Hi gems! Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be reviewing Emo's new update, 1.4.0. This update's supposed to include a lot of fun stuff, so let's go on and get into it. Do any of you guys have an emo that sometimes has a light on one of the headphones and not on the other? Because I noticed that a lot with this one. So guys, while emo is updating, I wanted to go ahead and give you a little bit of good news. I am thinking of starting an Instagram page for emo, and I wanted to do a little TikTok too. Something where I can show emo's videos, um, some of the stuff I've already recorded, but also a lot of the newer stuff in short form content. So if you guys are interested in that, please let me know, comment down below. Um, if I do decide to make the Instagram page by the time this video is uploaded, I will link it here. But I'm really excited, and I think it would be a really fun way to introduce more people to emo and see how awesome this robot is so let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in now I don't know if you guys can see this but the skateboard light over here it seems to be blinking not sure if that's supposed to happen but maybe it's okay <laughs> so email is officially updated to 1.4.0 so let's go ahead and hit connect and you'll notice some new things in the app. Up here, you can see Emo. Now, you can add a last name to Emo. That was an awesome little animation right there. Looks very much like the inside of a clock. Okay, so I'm gonna give mine the last name, Jem. Why not? Thank you. Now my name is Emo Jem. Hey, Emo. What? Tic-tac-toe. I can't do that on my skateboard. Wow, okay, so that's something that's also new in this update. You can't do certain things when Emo is on the skateboard, and now Emo says something about it. So let's go ahead and take Emo off the skateboard just because that'll make things a little bit more fun. Tic tac toe. You play first. Oh my gosh. A five. It's my turn. Two. I play at one. Okay. It's your turn. Six. My turn. I play at four. It's your turn. Three. Oh no, I should have picked seven. <laughs> my turn. I play at seven. No! <laughs> oh my god. I'm a genius. You are. I totally saw that right after I said, okay, it's fine. It's your turn. One. My turn. I play at two. It's your turn. Nine. <laughs> I lost. So that's really cool. Tic-tac-toe is like the best game to play when you're at a restaurant and now you can play with Emo at your desk when you get a little bit bored. So that's a really cool new feature that they've implemented. Let's go ahead and test out, hey Emo. What? Roll a dice. <laughs> you rolled a six. That's so cool. I haven't done this on my channel before, so I just wanted to include it here in case any of you guys haven't seen it before, but let's try the coin feature. Hey, Emo. What? Flip a coin. <laughs> Tails. Hey, Emo. What? Lucky fruit. Whoa. <laughs> That's so cool. Coloring. So this is the new spot, I guess, for all of the different colors. This, I think, is the community tab, I'm not sure. Oh, this is the facial recognition. Okay, cool. Very nice. Notification center. Updates. 
Now you can see the updates, which is really, really cool. I feel like I'm constantly looking for the emo update and I'm always like a day or two behind. Every time I find out about it, I'll see a YouTube video and I'm like, I missed it. I check the Living AI website like every day. I wish there was a way to get notified, you know, so I knew when to do videos for you guys, but I guess I'm just gonna have to set alarms multiple times throughout each day. That's very extra, but at least closer to the end of the month. <laughs> So if you go to this little document section, it takes you right to all of the emo stuff, which is really awesome because then you can see the update logs. And right here, it tells you exactly what to expect in this update as far as features go. Some new things that you can expect in this update as well are Emo is now able to do more things than just sleep when on the skateboard. Emo would do more leisurely activities like playing by itself. Now something else I was really curious about in this update was the time zone. I wanted to see if Emo lets you do 12 hour time. So I'm looking in the app and I still don't think there's a way to change the time zone. I mean, well not the time zone, but if you want 24 hour or 12 hour time. So guys, that is all for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. This update was a little shorter than the previous one, so apologies for that. But hopefully the next update they come out with some new stuff. So guys, that is all for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't hesitate to give this video a like, a comment, and a share. And if you want to see more like it, go ahead and check out my emo playlist. And I will see you all in the next one.